Okay, in the previous video we saw me unwrap the Spark Station 20 uh, motherboard here, and of course it was unknown whether it would actually work, but it looks like we've got it. And it looks like these, it's a 1995 vintage, look at that, okay, here, here's the vSIM in there, but the vSIM just put a couple of, uh, of dims in there, so we got the vSIM, we got that, and look at that, isn't that beautiful? There's the two HyperSparks, and there they are reported on the screen. Uh, the 125 megabyte there, two sticks of 64 uh, memory, our eight megabytes of VRAM, CG14. Look at that, SX graphics. Uh, the ROM's a little old, it's a 2.22, seems to be working just fine. What's amazing is the NVRAM battery is still good. After all these years, the NVRAM battery is still good. So it booted up. There were some, some troubles getting it uh, getting it booted. I was getting serial display, but not, um, not anything on the graphics output. Don't know exactly what was going on there, but, um, you know, the resetting, turning on Diag, and... Uh, tweaking the resolution, right? So let me see here if I can, I can get this. Oh, why do I not have a tripod? Take a look at my print environment. So yeah, I'm trying to output at 1024 by 768. I'm only getting 1152 by 900. Is that a problem with the vSIM? I don't know. Or is it a problem with the LCD? Or is it a problem that because I I'm not setting it correctly. Apparently, you need to set it from CG14 config, which I'm not doing. So, interesting enough. Um, so, I'll have to check this out. I'll be playing with this some more in the future and getting it fully set up. But here it is on the basis. Right? We can populate out to whatever that would be, 6. Maybe Can we put a 7th on the other side of the vSIM? I don't know. But a lot of memory uh, for this. And this guy will probably be destined for Solaris 7. Uh, maybe eight, but I am super jazzed and wanted to share uh, everyone here. Uh, but yeah, so pretty cool, and I'm excited. So I'm going to shut this off now, and I still need to find a box for it, right? Which are surprisingly hard to find. Well, that's it for now.